what's going on guys okay so today i have a little surprise for you guys and for myself too uh, i picked up some honda access parts for the ef um, right now i'm just swapping out the light bulbs just to leds and changing some mixing up some colors just to see how it looks like so we got the dome light i'm replacing the light bulb for that one too i already replaced these two i got the ef9 specific sh3 swivel light for the ef and then also i got the pillar light for the ef9 as well so it'll be going all that will be going to this car and then also um, because of the overheating i might be removing the turbo just because it's not worth buying a 1300 dollars tuck radiator for a, a turbo kit that's only worth like 600 dollars because it is an ebay turbo kit so I'm thinking of just removing the turbo, but since the previous owner cut out the hole on the bumper right there where the fog light is so the charge pack can go through, I don't want to have that to be open. And then also right here, they cut out the grill. So um, I ended up finding an EF9 front bumper. Don't worry, I placed it really carefully. There shouldn't be any scratches underneath. This one is completely uncut, nothing. That black thing is just double-sided tape because they had a, uh, a lip that it was stuck to it. It wasn't drilled or anything. So it's completely uncut. It has the JDM uh, EF9 bumper support, the really thin one. And it already has a hole cut out for the bumper pull, which I also already have. Which I also already have. I picked it up a long time ago from my friend Carlos Galindo. I think you guys know him as an EF Heaven. Uh, we've been friends for a while, so he sold me this years ago maybe like three years ago i forgot i had it i haven't put it on so this might just be the perfect time nothing is missing everything is completely attached all the holes are there none of them are messed up so let me remove this car out What's going on guys? Uh, so today I'm here with the Civic. I took it out for a quick drive. I washed it. Um, I had a pretty bad depression episode in the morning. They started out kind of crappy and then it just got worse. Uh, so I decided to use the negative energy. Uh, after it got wore me out at home, I decided to use the remaining uh, negative energy to ex install some of the accessories that I had for the car and just keep my mind occupied. So I'm just gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys what I installed today. So first of all, I installed these EF9 specific uh, rear gather speakers. They do light up. I haven't fully wired them up yet. So they are just in place. They're secure, they're not going anywhere. So they slide up green and red when you brake. And they're a massive guys. I don't know if you guys can tell. I, I, didn't, I don't really have it where it needs to be because I don't have the gather uh, rear cargo cover. Uh, so hopefully I can get that off my friend uh, later on sometime this year. And then I do not have that piece. I still have to get that. I still need to install the EF9 or the Grand Civic uh, rear fog lights. I do have them at home. I just mentally got drained today and I don't, don't want to do anything else anymore. But I do have those two that I'm going to install and I do need the switches for it. So if somebody has the switches, please let me know. I'm going to buy them. Uh, I ins also installed the gather satellite speakers I've had for a while um, it's just that I never really got around to install both of them again they are not wired they are just installed in place I will be either taking it to a stereo shop or just installing it myself these speakers are really cool because you can loosen it up right there and then you move it around to see where you want to have the sound to, to hit so I have those uh, and then I also installed this right here this is not for an EF9 I don't think uh, but it did fit for a uh, it's a dome light it has a fancy light which stays in pink or red whatever you want to call it I have it on door right now so it can stay on you can have it also uh, spot so you can move this around so I installed that also I installed the EF9 specific swivel light 
this one is pretty cool because this this moves around let me see if I can see it this moves around and you can point the, the light at wherever you want to so this is called the swivel light it does work I did wire that my friend uh, Aaron sold this to me this one this one and then also the pillar light and then my friend Angel did the wiring for him so I basically when I purchased it it was just plug and play these two were and this one was really easy to install I have the Ricardo this I already had it before I had the bronze glass you can see the difference bronze windshield you can also see the difference I have the EF9 visor I do have the video where I installed it but due to my depression and all the bunch of stuff going on in my life I didn't get to post it yet I might have this that video before this one I'm not too sure yet they, uh, these are the power folding mirrors they do work now visor satellite speaker and then the pillar light this it does work okay, so you can just move it around if you have like a map well this was designed to when, whenever you're driving and you need map you need to read the map at night or whatever you just move this around and then you can point it basically at the paper that you're reading and it has magnets right here and it just stays I was watch, uh, making the video to install this but one of my neighbors came and then he ended up just talking the whole time and I don't like to be rude and cut people off so I do not film when I install the lights all three of them but this is very easy to take off you take off this pillar piece just pull it out remove the seals basically obviously you remove this remove the pillar behind this you're gonna have two little stars you're gonna drill a hole through there and then above it you're gonna drill an extra hole carefully not to pass this line right here because otherwise the wire will be exposed or the hose will be exposed or the wire will be exposed one hole for the wire and two more holes for the screw that will hold on to and uh, the F9 cluster I do have to replace it because this one is really ugly with those green needles I have the original one with very very low kilometers I can finally install this for this car since I don't really drive it the miles will not go up and the one the engine was rebuilt before I purchased the car so I am looking for this piece still uh, maybe restore this later on in the future I need to replace the steering wheel uh, I have a lot of things I need the button right here for the uh, either the fog light or whatever but I do need that uh, let me see what else can I tell you guys I have the right hand drive antenna this was very hard to find I thought it was gonna be easy but it wasn't uh, you can see a 48 15 with the arrow cap the inside is dirty I just washed the car really quickly the F9 door uh, do over here can't beat it decal original from Honda I was able to find it uh, what else the color changes in three depending on the shade where you are changes from purple to green to blue main color is green but as you move around it changes to blue and then purple it's a very beautiful color I like it a lot uh, what else I still need a couple pieces. I have most pieces that I just need to install. Uh, I am still looking for the EF9 uh, wing so I can install the SIR. Sorry, I'm still looking for the SIR wing OEM. And then uh, when I have that, I'm gonna go ahead and install the Jace Racing wing. And I'm not too sure if I'm gonna paint it black or paint it to color match the car. Uh, we shall see the theme here is green and white which doesn't look too bad with a vibrant muffler, muffler that I still need to break in because I haven't even driven the car more than a thousand miles not even 500 I don't think since I purchased it two years ago but yeah guys so today I had a really bad depression episode and I like I said I decided to use the, uh, the the negative energy and started to work on my car to keep myself busy uh, so any of you guys that suffer from depression as well I my thoughts are with you and then my prayers are with you because I know how hard it is and difficult it is 
and then if you're having a lot of hard times at home uh, please keep strong God is good uh, I know I've been praying a lot for myself and my kids mainly for my kids uh, but just stay strong guys okay and then use that negative energy to work something put it towards some something the productive make a productive energy and then yeah keep it up I don't know if you guys can see how beautiful it looks like right now it's like purplish greenish the purple part is my favorite color I think you see two colors right here but yeah guys I'm gonna take some pictures head home and uh, yeah, thank you for watching. As always, thank you for supporting my channel. Uh,